Hi, welcome. I am Len Zhang. First, I learned Chinese painting and later moved on to watercolors. Today, I want to show you how to introduce Chinese painting techniques into your watercolor. The reason for that it is to allow you to paint more freely and to make beautiful, spontaneous paintings. Now, I am using the flat brush to load multicolors. Red first on one side, and then a little yellow in the middle, and then blue on this side, and also combine the red and the blue a little bit on one side. So my, my brush right now has darker red and red and yellow and a little bit blue. So paint one brush stroke, tilt your brush, this is a side brush stroke, another one. That's the body of a fish. So you, if you add a little bit detail, get more blue on this side, a little bit red and a little bit yellow on the other side. And you hold your brush, stroke, brush this way. You can paint the dorsal fin and then more fin and give a little texture to the tail. Now what we left is the head. Use another small brush, get very dark color to paint the eye. Dark color means a lot of blue, a little red. Okay, to have fun, you can spread some texture spots on the fish. Looks like, uh, this looks like a rainbow, rainbow trout. And at the gill. Here we go, we get a fish. As you can see, we finished the whole painting. Uh, this is the result of the, of the salt. This is the result of the splashing of the uh, water. Uh, they create some kind of bob, uh, water bubble uh, effect. Thank you very much. This is the, we finished this painting. We have a look at many new techniques and new ways of painting watercolors. The important thing is not to paint the details by capturing the essence of the subject and the impression of the environment. With practice, these techniques get easier. Don't worry about making mistakes. Above all, have fun in painting.